New Mexico, you have been great. We had never really spent a lot of time here, but we definitely come back. But today we're leaving, as you know, actually looking at what I'm doing through the reverse LCD screen. As you know, we're going to Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado, which is, I think, south of Alamosa. We're gonna be between the park and Alamosa, which is the nearest major city. And I use major in quotes, because it's not that big, in Colorado. And then we're gonna spend some time in Colorado for a little while, uh, at least a few weeks. And I don't know, we're just heading up to Glacier National Park, ultimately. So spend some time in the mountains, spend some time in the sand, and uh, hopefully it'll be a good time. All set? All set, dumped, ready to go. I use this app on the Android called GPS Test. It crashes every once in a while, so it's not the best built, but it shows me my speed, my elevation, my heading, all that good stuff. So I turn it on, put it up here on my dash. And it's free. And it's free. <laughs> I wouldn't pay for an app that crashes as yeah. much as this one does. Okay. So let's do it. Let's head out. We're full of water, empty tanks, ready to boondock. That's right. Okay. We have to show you the sign before we leave. It says, Is your antenna down? Check. Is your antenna down? Are your wife and kids on board? Have a safe trip. When it comes to camping, your antennas first. Your wife and kids, apparently, second. Are second? We'll have a safe trip, though. According to the sign, they're second. Driving through Taos with an Airstream is a little bit different experience. Yeah, it's always fun. At least we're not looking for parking. So far, it's been fine, though. Yeah. Roads have been plenty wide enough. Okay, this place doesn't suck. This may have been the best boondocking spot yet that Courtney has, has picked. We're kneeling like down behind the truck because it's like gale force winds out there. And I know you would not be able to hear us if I was standing up right now. So the, tr the camera is actually in the wheel well of the truck. But look at look at behind me. That's that's our view. That's gonna be like sunset is the opposite direction. So those mountains are gonna be lit up and I'm gonna be out with my camera probably every night. Windy but beautiful. I know we've talked about losing weight a lot and you see us eating these delicious like ice cream and chocolate and it's like those those idiots how are they possibly how can they expect to lose weight when they eat like that well two things one those are treats we don't do that all the time we just and, film it <laughs> and two yes we just film it <laughs> so when we do have treats you, you guys see. generally see that but what you don't see is this look at all the green stuff is salad. Lettuce, onion, tomato. Is this farmer's market tomato? Yep. Farmer's market tomato. Yeah. Oh, so good. Pineapple and whatever is in here. I don't know. Some refried beans. Refried beans. All right. So we got some green onions. Looks like we have some cabbage in these bowls and some Cilantro, cucumber. Lettuce. Mm. Okay. We don't eat salads every day, but we eat them far, far more than um, chocolate and milkshakes and whatever. So this is very typical and they always turn out great, much better than you might think. 
We have a couple really good salad recipes. This is just our general Mexican salad because we always yes. have Mexican stuff. We make a really good Thai, like peanut based salad and there's a few. Oh yeah. Is that the one with peanut butter? Mm -hmm. <gasps> the peanut butter salads are so good because I love peanut butter. But yeah, this is, this is normal. And uh, we just got settled in. It's very windy, but we parked into the wind, so the trailer is not rocking back and forth. And we can have the windows all. open. And we no can have the windows open, as you can see here. We have the truck parked right there, so that helps to block the wind as well. Two pro tips: park into the wind, and if you if you have a tow vehicle, um, which unless you have a Class B and that's it, most of you do, park that so it blocks some of the wind as well, and then you'll have a much more enjoyable experience. Check out that beauty. And you probably can't see this on camera, but way up there, there's a little truck camper. Did you explain how we found this site? I didn't explain how we found the site. How I walked. Oh. So that way, which you might be able to see on video, is the first spot and you can see a truck camper there. And so we got there, there's already somebody there. We don't know, I heard there, thank you for drinking, Penny. There's Let's pause for the cause. Oh, hi. Anyway, we didn't know, <laughs> we had heard there were other spots, we didn't know for sure. So I walked from that spot down there, which Steve will show you to here, until I found this spot. And then I called Steve and said, yes, good internet, big spot, we're good to go. And then he drove. With the girls. Let's see if I can show it. Yeah, you might be able to see the rig right where the tip of my finger is. That's where we were. That is what I call teamwork. Now I am hungry, it's time for lunch. We're going to Great Sand Dunes tonight for sunset. I think that's the plan so we can check it out at the, the golden hour and maybe even blue hour too, which is after sunset. We'll see what we feel like.